um would you like uh. to please um briefly introduce yourself or let us know what your name is the name of your university and the program you're studying and where you come from Hey guys, I'm Lakshmana Abhinay Kurivella and uh, I'm from India. I'm going to uh, pursue my undergraduation in Michigan State University. Uh, I'm majoring in Supply Chain Management uh, and I'm from Khammam. <laughs> Would you like to provide us some insight about, um, you know, the application process? Did you need to submit any, like, competitive scores? um what documents were required like any uh, statement of purpose letters of recommendation any essays that you had to write and okay. if yes could you please brief us on how to write um these documents okay uh, when it comes to michigan state university admission process you need to uh, submit sat scores and sat sat or act or else ielts scores uh, the sat score minimum requirement is 1120 and uh, act minimum requirement is 28 uh and the ielts minimum requirement is 6.5 uh you need to submit an uh, uh common app essay uh, to michigan state university uh to get into the uh, to get into it like uh, okay uh so when you are writing uh, sops or essays uh, you need to uh, maintain some good standards of uh, language uh, to uh, get admitted into university uh, michigan state university is ranked first in the world for supply chain management uh, so it's a competitive uh, program in michigan state university uh, so you need to have good stats to get into the university Okay that's great. Um did you have any like rounds of interviews um and if yes No no no. Okay. Uh no kind of interviews or anything. Okay great. And um did like how did you go about the whole application process in terms of like gathering information regarding the university and you know how did you then finally boil down to this one university? Okay uh I have uh, re- I have researched a lot regarding the university uh, in terms of like uh U- Michigan State University official website and uh, uh some seniors over there and some websites like College Dunia and uh, other websites which can uh, offer me a good information about university uh I applied this u- I I like this university and uh the other thing is one of the mentor in michigan state university met me personally uh as she came to hyderabad uh, so i met her and uh, i like the university very much uh so i just applied to it and it's my dream university actually as it is the world's first university uh for my major How would you define your study life abroad? Uh tell us a bit about, you know, um like the facilities, like the, you know, um all the libraries, the gyms, um and then what about like the study pressure or like the competitive nature of your school? Okay, mm-hmm. uh right now uh we are taking online classes, right? So, uh the library opportunities like uh, they are providing an online uh a form which offers all the books and uh, they give some ids uh, so that we can uh, access to all the books in library and uh, when it comes to uh, pressure and uh, competition competition in michigan state university our major is ranked first right uh, so the competition is also equally uh, more uh, than other any other major so uh, while if you are uh, going to a university which is ranked first in the world for that major uh, then the competition would be a uh, great uh, it should be very hard like there yeah i agree with you completely like the university does have to uphold some standard and therefore the competitiveness yes. in these schools is very high what about like you know like friend circle peer group you know because as you mentioned like your studies are hard so are there like sort of you know study groups that you can get with and you know anything like that 
yeah there are many uh, study groups right now we are taking online so uh, still there are many groups which uh, does online mentoring and uh, uh, online motivation uh, they give to students and uh, there are many other programs which are going on in Michigan State University right now all they are uh, doing them online uh, so uh, it doesn't matter uh, there are many uh, many groups which uh, it's it's a good university for all this yeah okay well that's good to know especially like in the times of like covid and stuff to know that you know yeah. you still have that kind of support even though you're like sitting at home miles, miles away from your university so that's quite reassuring yes. for future students lakshman tell me um apart from you know your academics what does the university offer you in terms of co curricular activities like any clubs you know any sports um student associations um you know things like that that you have on campus okay uh, there are some student councils in uh, msu and uh, there are many co curricular activities like sports and uh, uh, night clubs and uh, many other activities going on on campus every day uh, and uh, when it comes to sports uh, we are uh, there are many uh, uh, there are many sports which uh, uh, go on 24 hours in michigan state university uh, so uh, we are all called as spartans in michigan uh, state university and uh, there are many uh, sports and activities going on in michigan state university Would you like to tell us um you know about your department the student teacher ratio you know um what it's like to approach your professors um and like the diversity of the faculty and students Okay uh when it comes to a uh, student teacher ratio uh it doesn't uh, apply on the majors it uh, applies to the whole uh, university uh in our university student uh, teacher ratio is 18 to 1 uh so uh, there's a good uh, diversity between uh, uh professors and students like uh, professors take care a lot and uh, they explain uh, everything uh, like if you have a, a normal question also they don't they, they just don't mind and explain it uh so someone asked a plus b whole square how to uh, how to derive it uh, so they just explained it in between the class Uh, so professors are very good over there that's good it's nice to always have you know professors who really yeah don't mind you asking these kind of questions yes, yes. um but how big are your class sizes you know does it vary uh, or okay uh, our classes are like i did not go there still but uh, i have seen in some images and uh, the professors taking classes uh, in our regular classes like uh, if we are in university we take in those uh, we attend classes right uh, so professors are also uh, sitting there and explaining us online uh, so they have just showed us uh, how classes are uh, so it's in like a uh, not huge classes uh, okay uh some majors like uh, mathematics and economics are uh, huge uh, majors right so uh they are in uh, big classes whereas supply chain classes are in uh, somewhat uh, medium classes i see so but how many students would that be approximately in your classes okay uh approximately around uh, 40 for supply chain management and uh, there are hundreds of people for economics and mathematics right of course because then yeah. that obviously branches out into different things yes yes take okay, great lakshman um my last question for you is uh, what would be you know your one tip or advice to those who are planning to apply to michigan state university okay uh, so just don't fake any profile of your uh, just don't fake anything uh, provide them as much as information you can do and uh, uh, the ngos part ngos and sports part uh, it helps you a lot in getting into your michigan state university uh, 
uh you know i have uh, provided uh, three uh, four to six certificates of my ngos uh, so they have liked it a lot and uh, they have accepted me that's great yeah i think us universities yeah. most of them really value yeah, you know your NGOs. extracurricular act- activities as well as well as your volunteering work yes. that's great okay thank you lakshman thank you for your time take care thank you Thank you.